Hello and welcome to Farming Simulator 17. I'm Andy, and this is the first look on on a package called the Fent Vario Package um, Pack, which is a series. Um, actually, it's a mod downloadable. Um, if we take a look here in a store, it actually shows up as its own little icon here or category. So we can go in here. We have a 300, 700, 900, and 900 black beauty. So 300 first. Comes with front load hatch or not. Uh, different and it's set up from 310 to 313. We go 313. Have a choice of uh, bright color green or a standard front green. Standard narrow ties. Buy one of those. Uh, and then we're in a 700 vario, uh, also a front load attacher. You can go from 714 to 724. Same color selection. You can get it with wheel center weight, wheels, wheel weights, wide tires, narrow tires. Rear twin wheels, standard. So we'll go with wheel weights. And then we have 900 vario series. Uh, it goes to 930 to 939. Same color selection and sort of uh, same it has twin wheels also that's added from the 700 series. We'll go with wheel weights for that one too. So 396, pretty powerful tractor. So here they are. Uh, the thing I like about this package is that on some if you download these separately, like separate mods, sometimes all the different mod modders or developers, they do, they they don't use the same sort of scaling system. So you could end up with different scale scale on. But here is distinct that 300 is smaller than 700, which is smaller than 900. So there's a very distinct size difference here, which is nice. If you look from the outside, uh, it doesn't have see-through mesh, which is a drawback, but I think it works anyway. Details on the front is ni are nice. Uh, rear linkage on on the 900 series is pretty ni uh, nice, and the effects on the fenders there. I think the 700 is slightly less. It seems slightly blurrier on the textures, at least on the hookups here, the hydraulic. Okay, here 300 is by far the best setup. It, l it looks beautiful here. Everything is really nice. So the 300 is a definitely a winner on the other side. Um, if you go inside here, you can press Control Y and you could register it. So you get size signs there in front and back. Um, the same as with 700 zeros. We'll go there. Which is kind of cool. And do the same goes for this one. So every ev everyone can be registered if you want to. Um, there's no way of opening the doors from the outside because there is no IC on anyone. So there's no IC control, unfortunately. Um, one thing I also think is sad is that there's no when you light turn the lights on. There's no uh, lighting up all the displays and the inside. And, but the lights are nice. Standard. Really nice. Um, it's the same on all of them. They're really nice. They're definitely part of a package. So. Engine sound is pretty standard. Nothing special. So, unfortunately, inside looks okay. That's sort of the same, like nice. Um, slightly different, but depending on the version, not the crispiest of texturing, but okay. It's a nice. It's a perfectly okay tractor. It's they're nice, really nice. I have um, the Black Beauty set up here with rear with the twin wheels on it, so I'll show you that a little bit. Um, just plowing away here in my little creative field project I have here on this this one. So 
That's big. It's a really big tractor. Looks nice. I mean, this is a really nice tractor. Uh. Right, it's nice. It pulls. Actually, if you if you speed up, it will pull really fast. Realistically, like 14 kilometers. I don't think. May, or maybe you could pull a plow at 14 kilometers per hour. I don't know. But it, it can, if you want to. Have your mirrors looks really nice. That's a really nice part. The little red one is slightly off, I think. But uh, the middle one there uh, looks really nice down towards the implement there. And that's good. I you don't usually get that. And in farming simulator. So that's a definitely good point of this package. Let's see if we can get this around here. Do another lap. I have lots of stuff spread out here on this map. This is just a, a try try stuff map, sort of. you wondering so nice uh, I like this this is a nice tractor uh, or a nice package of tractors uh, definitely lacks some IC and a lot of some of the new stuff on on mods that are around these days but it's not that old but uh, I think it's a nice package if you want to try use fence and um, you have like a all of them working away working together nicely um, this is a good package so nice package just I think you should download it and try it out for yourself it's better um, and if you will see maybe you'll just get annoyed by the lack of IC control or uh, since I don't I hardly ever used IC I, I don't mind so it will be probably be like me or not and uh, well you can just see if it's annoying or not so I'm gonna leave it there uh, this is a really short review sorry about that but uh, I don't have much else to say <laughs> this is actually my second attempt to recording this because the first attempt sort of got botched by uh, my daughter that was uh, really wanted to eat breakfast and instead of just accepting the fact that I would do this for like three minutes more she started yelling and was really obnoxious which I don't find okay so she didn't get any breakfast faster for that I she had to wait just mean to make a point but uh, this is not a channel about raising children even though I could probably ho have a ch whole channel about the problems of raising children maybe not so much the solutions but the problems um, so anyway, um, I d as I said, I don't have much to say about this. It's a nice tractor, nice package, nice tractors. It's very nice, just nice. So <laughs> go check it out, go download it, go use it, go do whatever you want to do with it and uh, enjoy it mostly. Anyway, I'm Andy and this has been a look on the Fent Vario package uh, pack for Farming Simulator 17. Um, and if you like this channel, please subscribe. If you like this episode, please hit the like button, leave a comment or share, and I will see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.